folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Code to Create. In today's video, we're gonna predict the red wine's quality. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna import necessary libraries. So I'm gonna import pandas. I'm gonna say import pandas as pd, and then I'm gonna import numpy or numpy anything as np, and then I'm gonna import matplotlib. Oh, I'm gonna import matplotlib. Pyplot as plt and then I'm going to import seaborn let's run this Ma oh sorry yes and then I'm going to read the data set so I'm going to say df is equal to pd dot read underscore csv yes guys let's run this and then I'm going to say let's see our we have a fixed acidity citric acid how much percent of sugar is there all these columns we have and at the end we have our target variable that's the quality let's check our data shape so i'm gonna say df dot shape sorry guys yes we have 1599 rows and 12 columns and now let's check if we have any null values so i'm gonna say df dot is null dot sum we have no null values in this data set let me get some information the data type all our float at the end quality is integer of course target variable is integer and then let me give you a short description about it guys so i'm going to say df dot describe we have a count mean minimum maximum many we will get to know everything most of the things about this and now let's check our unique values that means let me show you guys i'm going to say df of quality dot unique not unique Yes, we have our unique values. That's five, six, seven, four, eight, three. So we basically have like three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now let's check our value counts. Df of quality, quality dot value counts. Yes. And then let's create. Let's set our x and y values. So I'm going to say x is equal to df dot i lock and y value is equal to df of quality y value is equal to df of quality let me just copy this up let's run this yes guys and now and now let's split our data set so first we have to import i'm going to say from sklearn dot model selection import train test split and then i'm going to say x x train x test comma y train comma y y test is equal to train test split let's put our x and y value i'm going to set the size test size test size to 0 0.2 and the random state to 42 to 42 let's run this and then let's standardize this value so i'm going to say from sklearn dot preprocessing import standard scalar scalar and I'm going to say SC is equal to standard scalar. And then I'm going to say X train is equal to SC dot fit transform. Fit transform X train. Sorry guys. X train. And let's do this. And let's do the same for X test. So I'm going to say X Sorry. X test is equal to SC dot fit transform X test. Let's run this. And I'm gonna use random forest, guys. I'm gonna use random forest. Yes, guys, after doing our standard scalar, let's use random forest classifier. So I'm gonna say RF is equal to I'm gonna say RF is equal. I'm gonna say RF is equal to random forest classifier 
and then I'm gonna say rf.fit it's test comma by test okay I guess we forgot we didn't I guess we didn't import our <sighs> okay guys I guess we didn't import our random forest classifier let's do that I'm gonna say from scale on dot scale on dot ensemble import random forest classifier and then let's do our main part guys that's the prediction so I'm gonna say why predict is equal to is equal to rf dot predict x after predict x this let's run this yes guys we got our prediction up here and we have our last step that is dumping our model so i'm going to say import joblib and then i'm going to say joblib dot dump y predict y print and let's save this as model so yeah guys now we know how to predict wine quality that's great thank you friends please do like share subscribe and comment below Bye bye